Hello, I'm Oliver Knapp, a certified Splunk architect and ES admin here at Summerford, and welcome to the first episode in our series of short videos on the Common Information Model, a series which looks at getting your data normalised and ready to draw value from. Our focus today is looking at and learning about data models, including what they are, how you will begin to use them, and where you can draw value from using them. The data models and the Common Information Model, or SIM, go hand in hand. They allow you to normalize your data to common naming and tagging standards, so that data from multiple sources, with potential big differences in names for the same data, can be aligned to the same field. As such, all data can then be used in the form it was meant to be, with similar data from different sources. This allows you to see exactly what data you have, and also where it aligns in your data estate as a whole. In terms of normalization, data models also often include normalization and enrichment processes to enhance the quality and the usefulness of the data. Normalization involves standardizing values or formats within specific fields, while enrichment involves adding additional context or metadata to the data, such as categorizing events or adding threat intelligence information. This all goes to benefit your searches, as once data is mapped to the data model, you can leverage Splunk's search and analysis capabilities to explore and analyze the data effectively. They can use SIM compliant field names and values in their searches, enabling them to quickly filter, aggregate, and visualize data based on common attributes defined in the data model. So how is your data actually aligned with the data models within the SIM? When data is brought in using an add-on, it will have its own names for fields, which are found in lots of data, such as the source field, SRC, which may be called something else. Inside the props.com for the add-on, there should be a header called field alias or caps. Under this, there will be a list where the field names in the add-on are related to common field names such as the add-on's own name for SRC also being related to the source field. If this is not present in the add-on, then it can be manually added through the reading of the SIM manual and adding in the field aliases. The manual is a web page which will show you all of the common field names used by the SIM. The screenshot on the right from Splunk is showing the data model reference table, which is where you can align data models to your data in the UI. This includes a hierarchy of the data set, that is, which section of the data you're matching fields to, alongside, as labelled, the data types, fields and tags you are extracting. The value which can be driven from your data in these models comes in many forms, such as being able to accelerate them, allowing for quicker and more responsive searches, having your data in a form which allows you to relate it to use cases and actions which are relevant to your business, and also having data from all sources working together to provide the most amount of information to you. These data models are not only relevant to security, there is a large collection of data models which relate to network, cloud and observability data, further showing how having SIM compliant data working with data models is value for any business. Thank you for watching our short video on data models in the SIM. We have covered what the SIM is, how data models are used and how your data is related to them and where you can use these data models to drive value from your data. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions then feel free to email us at info at someofitassociates.com and keep an eye out for the next video in the Common Information Model series, Data Models Acceleration, where we look at how we can get the best possible value from our aligned data.